Hi guys, Marian Emerson here with a resist technique for you. This month um, of September 2017 on the blog, it's all about resist. So myself and the design team have been sharing inspiration with you. Um, and this was the original card that I'd put on there, but I didn't, I sort of gave a brief instruction how to do it. And then I thought, do you know what? I'll do a video on it. And it's really quick and simple. So I'm using the Thankful stamp set and you'll notice there's a couple of um, sentiments in there that are going to work for Christmas. But this is showing you how this can work all year round. So I start off with a tenfold piece of black cardstock and I've got three other pieces. One piece is cut slightly smaller than my front piece of black that's going to mount on and then two other spare pieces and I always use um, a 250 GSM white smooth cardstock with all the embossing powders. So I've taken that large flower from the set and I've just inked it up and on the original card that I'd done on the blog I'd use platinum which is just absolutely gorgeous. This time I thought I'm gonna go rose gold and Rose gold is so in, it's been in for ages actually, um, but it just worked really well. And you'll notice at the front there, I held the gun towards my hand for a little while, just to make sure that it was hot enough. And I've missed a tiny little bit in the corner there, but I'm really not that bothered about it, because they're just going to get mounted on top of one another, so it doesn't matter. And now by the, the magic of video, they've all been cut out, <laughs> amazingly. And then I'm using the... Um, stamping up inks and I'm just going to go in first of all with soft sky and then I just go in and cover it all over then I've used pool party and then Bermuda Bay so they're all on a you know a hue with one another and then once I've done that I let it sit in there just for a few seconds and then I take a bit of kitchen towel and just wipe off any excess so any excess ink that sat on that in embossing powder hence it being called a resist technique because it's actually resisting that ink color if I'd have used something like an alcohol ink that would have colored it completely as well but this is just a water-based ink so it just works perfect for it so I'm just gonna flip that over because my powder will stick to any of the ink that's on there at the moment and for this bit I'm gonna be using a brayer because I want to get a really smooth finish and I'm going to do it a few times. I'm going to do about three layers of this. So this is to cut the sentiment out um, where I had the word happy. So I'm just brayering it on and then I know it's really lovely and smooth and it's nice and even. Normally in the past I've, I've pushed the card into the ink pad um, but this way you get a lovely smooth finish. So I've done that three times, heat set it in between each one and then I die cut the word happy out and this is a Technique Tuesday um, happy die and it comes with a border as well so you can see that I've actually cut the border out in white and then I did the word happy within the embossed bit and now I'm using a quickie glue pen um, if you wanted it to be much quicker, you could actually use um, a spray adhesive and then that's just going to cover it completely. But for video purposes, quickie glue pen was just fine. And then I'm just going to stick that down on top so I get a nice white border all around it. I just position it exactly where I want. There we go. Turn it around the right way. <laughs> And it just, it gives a really good metallic effect by doing like layers on this. And it's also easier than, than actually embossing it once it's cut out. So that's why I do it on a, on a bigger piece first. And then I've got an extra bit to use later. So now I'm going to take the large fern leaf from the stamp set. And I'm using the Stamping Up Old Olive ink. I'm going to position my flowers where I think I want them just to give me an idea where to put this fern stamp so I'm just gonna ink it up 
I've not stamped with that one for a while so I'm just making sure it's working all right and then I'll just go in and just I just eyeball it basically because I've already positioned the flowers but you'll see in a minute it doesn't matter if you go wrong <laughs> obviously I went wrong um, <laughs> and you'll see why in a moment so I put three three leaves on there as such and then I'm gonna put little foam pads on the backs of the flowers um, when I do this I literally only put one in the center because I don't want the foam pads to overlap one another on the flowers because that would make the heights wrong so just by sticking one in the center of each they're gonna work fine now this is where I went wrong so I start putting my flowers down and I'm thinking yeah I quite like that and then I'm realizing actually I didn't stamp out far enough on the leaves so it's not a problem I haven't got to throw the piece of card away I'm just literally gonna ink up the stamp again and stamp a little bit more and you can get away with that with this sort of design because there's no actual sort of pattern to it as such it doesn't have to be perfect so I'm just going in adding a little bit more the messy bit all in the middle that's all going to get covered up by the flowers so again that doesn't matter I'm sure we all hide a multitude of sin under lots of our <laughs> embellishments etc <laughs> so so now I'm happier with that and it looks fine so I'm actually just gonna stick them down now quite happy with how they're gonna be so just peel off the backs stick them down same thing with my happy sentiment I'm just gonna stick that down and then put the whole thing on top of the black card so just mount it on top leaving that nice little thin border that just finishes it off quite nicely there we go so let's bring that other one in so that was the first one I've done showing you on the blog and then this one is without sequins shock horror so <laughs> I couldn't go without sequins so I decided to add a few and you'll notice when I use my glossy I have a little pin down the side that's purely so that I can un unblock it because quite often glossy does get a little bit blocked so if you keep a pin down the side of it just every now and again you can just go in and unblock it and there we go if you'd like to check the blog out, you can find it at wowembossingpowder.blogspot.co.uk and come and follow us on there and join in with the challenges. Thanks for watching. Bye.